Are you an Epson Direct to Garment printer owner? Have you been thinking about diving into direct to film printing? Have you been using Garment Creator to send your DTF prints by doing two separate jobs? If you answered yes to any of those questions, be sure to stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? It's Stevan here with All America Print Supply, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how Epson just made it so much easier to perform DTF prints using their award-winning line of direct to garment printers. Let's talk about it. You know, if you've been on this channel before, you already know how huge of fans we are of the Cathari NeoRip software. It's an upgraded RIP program for the direct to garment printers that's gonna better handle complex artwork. Things such as glows, gradients, transitions, flames are all gonna be much more accurate with the Cathari. And not to mention has an included free direct to film printing profile. Well, now thanks to this new update for Garment Creator from Epson, we can essentially perform the same thing. Also today, I am using our AA DTF Platinum Grip Strips. This is a great way to keep our transfer film in place as it's printed so you have perfect registration of our color layers. And as you can see, a little bit does go a whole long way. I've positioned three strategically placed pieces of the grip strip, like I mentioned, to keep my film nice and straight, perfect registration. Now a quick tip I've learned to help better center my film is using the hardware on the platen. This will always help me find a nice center point so I know exactly where my image is gonna land. We're gonna try and lay this down nice and flat, applying brief pressure to those grip strips that we've applied. There we go. It's that easy. Now let's take a look at this new update for Garment Creator. All right, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and update or install to the most current version of Garment Creator from the Epson website. Now, I'm working off Windows 10, so in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, I have this search bar here, and I'm gonna use this to type out Garment Creator, and then we're gonna open up the program, and then we're gonna close the Garment Creator program. Now I'm gonna open up my control panel here, we're gonna click over to Appearance and Personalization, Show Hidden File Folders. Make sure we select Show Hidden File Folders here and apply it. Now let's hit OK, that step's important. So now we can go ahead and X out of this, go back to my File Explorer, this PC, and open the C drive. We're gonna go down to Users, and we're not gonna select Default or Public, we're gonna choose your primary Windows account, whatever you have it named as, and now we're gonna choose App Data. Now Roaming, and now we're gonna go down to the Garment Creator software. We're going to click Local Store, and in this folder here, we're going to hit New, and we're going to create a blank TXT document. We're going to give it a specific name. This is going to read Enable Reverse Mode. All capital letters are beginning, no spaces. Just like that. Let's open up the Garment Creator software. We're going to make a DTF profile environment. So let's go ahead and click on the dark t-shirt option. Under white management, I want to confirm that the ink order option is there. Should look like this. So we'll go back up here to basic settings. We're going to choose white print quality. We're going to uncheck double strike and adjust the quality level to level one to the left. Now color print quality, same thing. Drop that down to level one, 1440, 720 DPI. Next, let's scroll down to ink density, increase that color to positive 15. We're gonna select the white ink density. We're gonna drop this to negative 15. Under the white management, let's go ahead and turn on the reverse ink order option, color then white, and we're done. Now we're gonna save this as a custom preset for future use. I'm gonna call it DTF Direct to Film. Now, one big thing to remember, DTF is printed backwards. We took care of the ink layering. But this also applies to your image. Before setting your job, we're gonna go up here to layout settings. We're gonna go down to horizontal flip, and there we have it, it's mirrored. Now we now have a good baseline for DTF settings to start printing. As everyone's environment can differ, some adjustments may be necessary depending on your films, but we have a good baseline here to get up and running. Let's take a look. And there we have it. Perfect registration, perfect layering, perfect amount of ink, all thanks to these new awesome adjustments in the Garment Creator software. Now, a couple things we do have to mention to make sure everyone's DTF process goes as smooth as possible. Firstly, the hot melting powder is technically a form of adhesive, so you wanna make sure you're always applying this away from your printer. You wouldn't want any of this getting into your lines, clogging your head, nothing like that. Now please note, any damage to the printer as a result of the hot melting powder is not covered under warranty and is considered misuse. Something to keep in mind. Secondly, now even though all of the DTF supplies and materials are thoroughly tested that we carry here at All American Print Supply and certified for safety for manufacturing staff and for your customer base, these are still powder adhesives, so not technically things you would wanna be breathing into our lungs. So we must advise some form of safety gear, perhaps in the form of a mask, 
but if you have sensitive skin, possibly gloves while you're in the learning stage, there's a couple things we definitely want to mention there. And that's about it. Super easy, right guys? For more information on how to make your dual threat machine as efficient as possible with your direct-to-film printing, be sure to visit our website for all of your equipment, supplies, and material needs, aprintsupplyco.com. That's just about to do it for this video, guys. If you made it this far, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, tap that post notification bell, and drop some thumbs up. If you do have any questions, you can leave those in the section below. My name is Estevan. We are All American Print Supply. We'll see you on the next one.